जस्टिस फॉर इंद्र मेघवाल ग्राउंडिंग इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स रेनिंग पैंडमिक्स आई एम मनीष आनंद द रायसीना हिल्स ब्रिंग्स टू यू अ डेली एनालिसिस ऑफ द एडिटोरियल स्कैरिट एंड इंडिया स्टॉप फाइव इंग्लिश न्यूज़पेपर्स इंद्र मेघवाल हैड एवरी राइट टू सी इंडिया ऑफ अमृत काल द नाइन ईयर ओल्ड बॉय डाइड थ्री वीक्स आफ्टर ही वॉज असोल्टेड hit on eyes and ears by his teacher in Rajasthan merely because he drank water from a matka meant for upper caste teachers in indra meghwal's death india is reminded amid jubilation of 75th anniversary of independence that some parts of the country or certain sections of the society still live in medieval age The errant teacher Chal Singh who allegedly gave grievous blows to the dalit boy must immediately face the full might of the law of the land the pioneer has sought with an edict to bring the issue to the national attention lamenting lack of sensitivity on the parts of administration and society The Delhi has taken note of the anger within the Congress in Rajasthan as one legislator and 12 councillors have quit the party in protest over the handling of the issue which allegedly included pressure on boys family to keep quiet while body was buried late in the night and his relatives faced lot of charge Rajasthan chief minister Ashok Gehlot is indeed seen to have lost his grip over the law and order situation that gives message to the lumpen elements in the state to show finger to the rule of law grounding indian Sports Indian Sports Federations have over the decades been the resting places for politicians and judges people indeed dream that the all sports persons would be like Neeraj Chopra and win gold in olympics but the federations would remain the same fifth dom of unworthy lords the times of india and the hindu have commented in their respective edits on fifa suspending the all india football federation The action has come on the ground that the federation is facing a third party interference. This third party is the Supreme Court of India. FIFA has no tolerance for such top down approach in reforms being against the charters added the Times of India in its edit. From cricket to football there is no sports in India where there is no interference of the supreme court while there is no sports body which is not managed by politicians India may lose the right to host under 17 women's world cup in football in October this year similar fate awaits hockey court india's international friendlies participation of its clubs in international competitions gokulam kerala fc in the afc women's club championship and atk mohan bagan in the afc cup and developmental funds from fifa and the asian football confederation are all under threat unquote commented the hindu in its edit the delhi questioned the role of the former federation chief praful patel a well known politician in triggering the crisis by holding on to power well past the 12 year tenure sanctioned by the national sports development board of india 2011 coach violation of norms concerning membership age limits and tenures as prescribed in the sports code is rampant in indian sports table tennis hockey and judo have all been placed under court appointed administrators in 2022 unquot added the hindu reigning pandemics response to the covid-19 pandemic was in globally collective while its outbreak was indeed linked to an interconnected world the covid-19 is not the only pandemic that the world has to battle as a host of other viruses lurk in the environment
The Economic Times has given an account of the challenges faced by an intergovernmental negotiating body of the World Health Organization to firm up an agreement that would be legally binding on all the countries on pandemic prevention, preparation and response. The poor countries were left askins during the COVID-19 pandemic for vaccines and medicines, while the developed world indulged in a stockpiling of the essentials. The inter uh, intergovernmental negotiating body of the World Health Organization seeks to wrap up negotiations and discussions by May 2024. But the Daily rightly reminds that the world is not yet ready to deal with profiteering pharma companies of the developed world, for there is no action yet on the proposed proposal backed by India and South Africa on intellectual rights waivers for medicines and vaccines in times of global emergencies. That was all we had in today's analysis of the editorials carried by India's top English newspapers. You may share your feedback and do share the link of the channel with your friends and relatives and also encourage them to subscribe to the channel thank you so much